All right, welcome, folks. Mill Spec Osmond here. Hey, listen, it's going to be Sunday, June 5th, 2022, uh, and it's going to be our monkey minute. And so, um, without further ado, we'll hop over to board. Before we do that, let me just show you real fast. Make sure, uh, if you haven't downloaded this yet, go out to the uh, your app store, and basically, whether it's Android or iOS, you can download uh, the Monkey Works app. What that will do is basically uh, give you push notifications and, and one-stop shop for everything that I do, okay? And so if you want to go in and look at the blogs, you want to go in and look at uh, the store, or you want to go uh, take a look at the latest and greatest video, um, that's going to get you there. Uh, again, it's a tool that was set up just to make it easier on everybody uh, in terms of following uh, and getting content and making sure you don't miss anything. So that said, we're over here to our... News that doesn't really pop up in your regular mainstream media in this Matthew 24 world that we are rapidly heading into. Now, this is a uh, basically a volcano in the Philippines that, uh, as of today, decided it was going to blow. It is pushing some serious black soot up into the sky. Uh, and if you notice, check this out. You can see everything is covered. This guy, luckily, he's wearing a mask. Uh, although I don't know how much that's going to prevent uh, from that standpoint. This guy's got a helmet on. You can look. It looks like almost just gray mud uh, everywhere based on the conditions. A little bit of rain and that stuff coming down sticks to everything. Roads, you can see, are covered in it. Uh, that's a pretty good ash coverage. Um, now, let's get over here to the others. I'm going to take a look. This one is actually in Russia. Again, we're on the Watcher site. This one is spewing 50,000 feet into the air. It is quite the sight to see. You can see that from a distance. Um, and then this one here just blowing up there. Now, the reason that that one is very important is because it will, uh, because of the way the jet stream is blowing, that, that uh, ash plume will actually carry out over the water. And in some cases, it'll make it all the way to the west coast of California, and nobody knows any better. So uh, depending on how much this stuff puts out, um, it could actually impact the west coast. Uh, so, uh, just pay attention to it. 50,000 feet will also push it up there uh, above the commercial aviation kind of envelope, uh, which means uh, from an aviation standpoint, aircraft have to actually fly around that region and be very careful because they can't get above it. Uh, and like I've always said, that stuff will tear up an aircraft engine in a New York minute, okay? All right, now one more we're going to show. This is actually Etna Volcano in Italy. Uh, it looks to be uh, spewing uh, lava and not just ash, but you can see a uh, new fissure here at the top of that summit. And then this one here, actually uh, stuff coming down. Um, the reason we pay close attention to Etna, if you know anything about the history of Etna, it is believed that that volcano is the one that caused the fall of part of ancient Rome. Um, what happened was Etna spewed up so much ash into the atmosphere that it covered that region and it caused the uh, temperature to drop by two degrees Celsius, which then in turn caused uh, crop failures, which in turn caused social unrest and famine and all kinds of stuff in the region. It basically wreaked havoc. And so one of the reasons why we pay close attention to this, uh, if you know your Bible, uh, you know that the day of the Lord emulates the characteristics of volcanic activity. And so you can get in and look at everything. Revelation 6, 12, that is about the day of the Lord. That is when everything kicks off. That's God's judgment. Uh, and uh, thank God uh, we'll be raptured not here for that. Um, but this one right here talks about great earthquake. Sun became black as sackcloth. The full moon became like blood. And then you get over here to Joel 2.30. Wonders in heaven and on earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. So all of this description ties to volcanic, uh, a volcano, right? And how they look. You get back over here to this uh, and take a look at how dark that cloud is. You can see black as sackcloth, right? That's in the middle of the day. That'll block the sun. At night, it'll block the moon. Um, and it wreaks havoc on the planet. So just pay close attention to these. We always uh, show them in our sit reps because, uh, because they are an impact to aviation. Uh, but um, they will tear up a climate in a heartbeat. All right. So, okay. Now let's get over here. One thing I do want to point out real fast. This is uh, the U.S. is basically, uh, this is uh, Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks as she speaks to troops uh, 
at the uh, Indo-Pacific Command Headquarters, basically saying, hey, we're in deep kimchi because uh, the U.S. needs more military arms makers. Uh, not a good situation to be in, especially when they're talking about this, saying we don't have enough in the industrial uh, defense complex to manufacture uh, uh, equipment to get us through a war. Um, that's really bad because then you go back here and you look at the military aid we're providing to the Ukraine. And as you can see, now that, folks, is May 10th, 2022. That was a month ago, almost a month ago. Since then, they've released another $43 billion on top of that $25 billion. So uh, there has got to be, at some point, somebody stopping the brakes, pumping the brakes, and looking at this and saying, why are we spending almost $70 billion on a war that we have nothing to do with? It's clear to me um, you've got an administration and a boatload of corruption within our leadership that have clearly roots established in the Ukraine. We know our agencies are there. We know all the bioweapon labs that they talk about don't exist. Um, that's what it is, folks. It's, it's obvious when you see them pumping that kind of money into something to keep it up uh, versus let it just go, uh, there's a reason for it. It's because we got so many assets in that region um, that by not keeping it up, all of our leadership is going to get punched right in a wallet. So <laughs> there you go. But that's your spend. And what happens is you end up in this situation where you don't have enough manufacturers or you're having to go back to your old manufacturing base uh, because you gave away all your stuff and you have to uh, try and manufacture it as quickly as possible. And uh, uh, that stuff doesn't happen overnight, as you know. Okay, so bad situation. And uh, let's get on over to... <laughs> Uh, the world that we live in and we talk about the economy. Uh, this is actually over on Zero Hedge. This is actually, uh, yeah, everybody is looking at what the heck is going on in the world. You go put gas in your car and it's costing you uh, over $100 to fill up uh, and you're having to do that. In some cases, people are doing that twice a week and it's probably more than that because they're driving some gas guzzler uh, and uh, I, my wife is guilty of that, right? She drives a diesel and uh and it's a pickup truck and it uh and the pump cuts off at 100 bucks and she's not even close to filling up now so um it's a bad situation to be in it's bad for the economy and of course there is talk that these idiots are actually going to go push another stimulus package through which only impacts the current situation so uh it's it's i think time for these people to get out of the driver's seat of this bus get in the back of the bus and somebody to take over that knows where the hell we're going. Because <laughs> this is not good uh, uh, on any means, all right? So, okay. Now, here's one thing I did want to do real fast that I think is uh, a pretty interesting deal. Just Google search economic collapse and look what comes up. Now, this is just in the news cycle. But, folks, if you think we are not on the brink of everything falling out, uh, you're not paying attention. This is the mainstream. These are guys, Fox Business and uh, Daily Mail, etc. But check this out. The hedge fund billionaire Ackman urges the Fed to be more aggressive, fighting inflation and warns of an economic collapse. These guys know what they're talking about. Look here, Venezuela, economic collapse, making cars look a lot like Cuba. People can't afford new cars and they can't even get the parts to do their maintenance. So uh, it's, you're seeing that trend everywhere in the world. Russia privately admits its economy is facing the biggest collapse in three decades. It's going to be worse than that. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with Western sanctions. Uh, that's probably propaganda. Uh, but I will tell you that um, they are feeling it. China's feeling it. The U.S. is feeling it. And what China did in shutting down their economy basically just added fuel to the fire. Um, and it is probably going to bring most people down with it. So, Okay, another one here, Sri Lanka, the collapse, economic collapse, what caused it, right? We're actually, if you go read about this and what caused that, uh, the U.S. is mimicking that same trend. So not good. Um, again, Lebanon, you can see all of these different places. Uh, I mean, if you followed what's going on in Lebanon, this is a bad situation. Their economy has definitely uh, in, the, in the collapse state. Uh, most people are are barely making it okay they're struggling to get by so it's a very bad situation um let's see uh you can see the imf says uh the economic face is the biggest test since world war ii and that was 12 days ago all right and so 
Uh, Russia's economy imploding, exports collapsing, triggering a depression. Well, folks, listen, it's not just there. Look at Barcelona, Venezuela, Brazil, Sri Lanka, China, U.S. It's happening everywhere. Inflation's going through the roof in the U.K. and the U.S. Energy costs are up 450 percent. And that was before the war kicked off in Europe. And so um, we are seeing it here in the U.S., almost 85 percent increase in uh, U.S. energy costs in terms of fuel, oil, anything like that. So uh, this is a bad, bad place to be. And uh, it doesn't look like there's anything coming back to, to swing this back to center. Uh, so if you're not prepared, I'm telling you right now, uh, it is the time to get prepared. You need to be thinking long term what you're going to do because this is not going to be a short term issue. Uh, do realize uh, that uh, when things start to go, they're not going to come back as quickly as you would like. Uh, in some cases, not at all. And so you need to make sure you are prepared for you and your family um, for what is coming. All right. And this is not three years down the road. This is uh, between now and probably the end of the year. So, all right, listen, I know uh, this sounds bad. I don't say it to scare you, but to prepare you. Uh, that is the world that we live in. And if you're not seeing it, um, then you're going to be a victim of it. So Anyway, listen, that's it. Stay frosty out there. Keep that powder dry, and uh, I will see you guys for Monday Sit Rep. That's it. God bless. Monkey out.